You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. Hey, what's going on? This is Dr. Roddy Ferguson. I want to drop this particular podcast on you. It's one that I recorded a little while ago, maybe about two or three years ago, about a Cirque du Soleil um, artist that passed away. There's a, a quality message in this that I don't want you to miss that's going to help you become more productive in life. It's going to help you live your life to the fullest. So please listen very carefully. Take some mental notes while you listen and have a super fantastic day. Hello and welcome to Coffee with Rodney by Rodney Ferguson. Um, a Cirque du Soleil artist fell and died a couple of days ago. And as an athlete, I've always been impressed with the performance of the Cirque du Soleil. The way that they move reminds me of dancers in the Alvin Ailey's Dance Theater. They are graceful, smooth, and strong. They are also at the pinnacle of their profession. We call them the elite of the elite. Recently, one of the performers, as I said before, died while performing in Las Vegas. No doubt she knew the dangers of her job, as many NFL, NHL, professional boxers, and MMA fighters know and realize. And no doubt she knew that dying was a risk that she confronted daily. But the question is why? I mean, if she knew the risk, why did she do it? Why do people walk across the Grand Canyon? Why do people run the bad water 135 through the desert? Why do people train for the Olympics? Why do people live on the edge? Why do they do these particular things that aren't necessarily necessary? Why do they do these things? Why do people go out on a limb? Well, you want to know why? They go out on a limb because that's where the fruit is. And if you don't go out on a limb, you can never access the fruit. And that young lady died at the age of 31. She died doing what she loved. She lived. She was not crippled by fear. She was not a coward. And while she didn't expect to live such a short life, she most certainly did live. I hope somebody is reading this or watching this today and stops allowing their fear or trying to hold them back. Go, do, be. And if you fail, great. At least fail while trying, which is a lot better than being a failure because you did not try at all. This particular video is dedicated to your improvement, as am I. My name is Roddy Ferguson. And if you haven't gotten, if you have not received my book yet, Coffee with Roddy, please get it today at www.coffeewithroddy.com. Take care and have a super fantastic day.